Hey everyone, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce, where today we're doing another Lego haul. I have four boxes over here. Three of them are Amazon, one of them is Lego Shop at Home. Got my blade, got my box, cut it open. All right, so. Got a couple things in here. First, um, they threw this in there. It wasn't part of the Lego haul, but I have some acoustic guitar strings. Um, I actually have these on uh, what they call a subscription order. So they send me a couple sets every two months. Because I have an acoustic guitar right over there, off to the side. All right, we got a Lego City deep sea helicopter. So, um, Trying to complete the whole Lego City series from late 2015. So the um, Deep Sea Explorers, I guess the, what, what they called it, was the, the wave of Lego City that came out late in 2015. So we got that. We've got some light gauge acoustic Diadario coated phosphor bronze EXP-16 guitar strings. I'll be changing that out on my guitar soon. We have a cat running around like he owns this place. All right, box number two. There's the cat. You can see him behind me. You own this place? Meow. <laughs> she talks to me. I don't, I don't know why. What you doing back there? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah? Looking for something? What are you looking for? You want this? He just wants the video bomb. All right, this box, a little bit better tape, just got some reinforced string tape. This is pretty cool. I'm kind of excited about this one. It's um, one of the first sets that I'm getting this full big boat hull piece. So this big molded giant boat piece. Um, this is the Lego City fire boat, of course. We have, um, we have a fire boat, we have a little raft, and then we have um, a lighthouse that's on fire. And the one guy kicking it right there saying, help me. I can't just run on this patch of grass right over here. I need help. Throw me a life preserver because rather than run on the grass, I'm gonna jump in the water. Imagination. Anyway, got a Lego City fire boat with some unrealistic play features. All right, another Amazon box. So why do I order from Amazon so much? Um, Good question, I'm glad you asked. Answer is, I follow the Amazon price watch list on Brickset, and it tells you when certain sets go a certain percentage of a discount. So I have my wanted list of all the sets that I want, and I'll look at that Amazon shop chart thing, and when it gets to a certain percentage off that I deem a good enough value for me to buy, that's when I buy it. So, Amazon has been putting a lot of stuff on sale lately. I actually placed a pretty big order today. They put a bunch of Lego Friends sets, Lego City sets, and something else. A creator set or two that was um, a good price. 20% off. So I bought those. So this, these are all from last week. Got Lego Technic Fire Plane. This is cool. This is a... Uh, this box, it's, it's a relatively medium size to medium small box, but it is heavy. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, ABS in here. A lot of volume of plastic. So um, I, I like when I get a set that, that feels like, um, like it's, you know, a worth, a value worth your money. And Technic is my favorite Lego theme, so. It's always cool to see Lego Technic stuff go on sale. 
because I love me some Technic. All right, so our last last box at this shop at home is a shop at home order. So um, there's a couple reasons why I bought this. Um, one, they had some stuff on sale. So as you know, if you follow a lot of my videos, you know that I buy stuff when it goes on sale. So that was um, qualifying number one. Number two was um, they're giving away promotional items. So I got some freebies in here in addition to um, some of the stuff that I bought. Now, in addition to some of the stuff I that was on sale or the freebie stuff, I did pick up some stuff that I've been had my eye on for a while and I decided to finally pull the trigger because I'm working on a project for my Lego City, yada, yada, yada. Um, we'll get to it in a second. So here's what was on sale. The Lego Valentine um, heart puppy dog or love dog, whatever they call it. So um, this was, I think, 30% off when I ordered it. Um, so I think I paid around $7 for this. For 150 pieces, that's a good part per price per part, I guess. Um, the ratio, I guess what you would call it. Um, and I love this tan color because I like to use that in a lot of my Lego City mocks. So to get a large volume of tan at a reasonable price, I couldn't pass this up. So I actually bought, let me see if I can do this. One more, there we go. I got five of them. So these are gonna be parted out. I may build one on the Hidden Brick channel because it's such a small set. But as soon as I build it, I'm just gonna take it apart. So these are being parted out for me to use the parts in my Lego City. And speaking of Lego City, this is the next thing I got. It is Lego City train tracks. So we get eight straight tracks and 16 of those little bitty flex tracks. And I bought two of those. So I really got these more or less to meet the minimum requirement to get my two free items because to get the free items and the free shipping, you have to meet a certain purchase amount. Um, I actually think one of these, I think this one was, if you just bought anything, you would get this, or maybe it was this one. One of these, it was just, just buy anything and we'll give you free stuff. Um, this one may have had to meet a minimum purchase requirement. Either way, I got free items, so got that. Um, so this is gonna be a project in my Lego City. Um, I have trains, I have train track, but um, not enough to make the, I guess, reverse loop that I want to do. So um, I got this to complete or try to complete the, um, the train loop that I want to make. So that is all that's in this box, except for a uh, Lego Movie 4D Adventure advertisement with a free something or another. And we get the cool little Lego City promotional book. It's like a half comic book, half activity book, half... Actually, it's basically activity book slash advertisements. That's pretty cool. I keep these. I keep the little activity books. I don't know. Maybe I'll bring them to, to Brickfest and give them away to some kids that I feel deem worthy for free stuff. Since it was free to me, maybe I'll just give it to someone else. Um, something else that I don't think I showed in a haul, actually I know I didn't show it in a haul, is the Lego City cargo train. Um, if you watched some of my other videos, you know I already have that set. I've already built that set on the Hidden Brick channel. Um, I more or less bought it to get more train elements. Um, it was on sale on Amazon a couple weeks ago. Uh, it showed up. It was a funny story. Um, this video is getting kind of long, so if you like stories, you know, hang in here. Um, a funny story about that is I ordered it off of Amazon and 
Amazon is pretty good about shipping stuff on time when they say it's going to show up and uh, via the right carrier that they say. So the tracking and everything is pretty good. Um, there, there's been times where it's been, been screwy, but um, it's been pretty good, at least where I live. I've heard of some people say that it's, it's bad in their area, but from where I at, it's pretty good. So uh, this particular item I ordered on Amazon. It was 25% off, good price. You know, $200 set down to $150, just good price. Um, $50 off, it's a good price. Anyway, um, it, it, I got the shipment confirmation, but normally the stuff that I order on Amazon comes via UPS or FedEx, but 90% of it is UPS, which we know our UPS trucks come to our neighborhood the same time every day so we know when it's going to show up so i got home from work that's about the time that they come by our house and i look at my email on my phone and it says shipment has been delivered i'm like great i go out there look at the look on the porch because they don't ring the bell, doorbell or anything they just leave it on the porch um it's not there so i'm like okay that's weird maybe they they messed it up you know i'm giving them the benefit of the doubt um, Amazon normally doesn't mess it up, but maybe they did this time. So I click through the email, I go to the Amazon website, it says shipment has been delivered, and it, so it shows a scan, but it says shipped via USPS. So there's an extra S in there. Instead of UPS, it's USPS. That means United States Postal Service. That means our mailman that delivers the mail into the mailbox out front of the house was supposed to leave it on our porch. The tracking said it was scanned and it was left on our porch. The everything that was linked to the tracking, to the delivery, everything was, it was delivered. It was left somewhere. It was left somewhere. It wasn't left on our porch. So I was thinking, oh no. And the reason I was thinking, oh no, is because our postal service in our particular zip code, our, our region of where we live, is terrible. It is absolutely the worst post office. I don't know where they hire these people, where they come from, or who trained them, but if, if we ever have to mail something, we drive 10 miles to a different city to drop it off at a different post office because we cannot trust our post office or postal workers that work in our zip code. So I'm thinking, oh man, they either have it still on their truck, fell off the truck somewhere, they dropped it off at someone else's house. I don't know where it's at. That's okay, I wasn't worried about it. Um, I was thinking, okay, someone's got some free Lego, some expensive free Lego. Um, I'll just file a claim with Amazon and I've done it before. I've had stuff get misdelivered or lost before and it's real easy to file a claim through Amazon. They quickly refund your money or ship you out a new one, no charge, whatever. Um, so I wasn't worried about it. I was like, Amazon's gonna take care of it, no problem. So um, I had stuff going on that night. I was just gonna do it the next morning. Well, three or four hours later, um, I happened to, it was night. It was probably nine o'clock at night by, by now, um, dark. Post office is not running. Nobody's nobody's delivering anything. You know, everybody's gone home. They're having dinner with their family or whatever. Um, and the the box shows up. It's sitting on my porch. So no, still no no doorbell ringing, no nothing. So some neighbor in our neighborhood probably got it. They probably read the tag saying, "Hey, I wasn't expecting a shipment. What is this?" Saw that it was misdelivered. They probably knew. Our post office sucks and they said we're good neighbors we'll walk down the street and drop it off at the porch of who it's really supposed to go to so I don't even know who to thank or who did that or even if that's really what happened maybe the post office was running late that day I doubt it because they're just that bad um, they're not gonna show up at 9 o'clock and deliver a package um, but it showed up so um, that's how this finally got here um, now I w it's funny because I was actually doing a haul video 
that night that this showed up and I was waiting. I was waiting because I had a, you know, kind of same as tonight. I had five or six packages. I was just going to open them all up and I was waiting on this big one to come to be like the, 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 the grand finale. This is the, the big thing that finally got here and it never showed up. So I was kind of bummed out during that haul video when I was recording it. But that's probably when it showed up is during that time of me recording that haul video. So it never got videotaped in a haul video until now. But it wasn't really a, an official haul. So, <laughs> long story. That's why I got the train tracks. That's why I've got the additional train. I'm going to have two locomotives now. I've got a lot of train track from this one and the previous one that I've opened. I have some train track from two of the Lone Ranger Constitution train chase sets. Um, so I have a lot of track, but my thoughts on what I want to do for Philly Brickfest display with my Lego City is to have a train that will wind into the industrial part of my city, maybe have a few siding buildings and factories or whatever. So needed some trains. Some additional ones I just you know when I got back into the Lego hobby that's one thing I never really you know picked up real quick it was kind of technic that's kind of what I got into first when I came out of my dark ages I got into um, Ninjago and it's weird how I got into more Lego system sets because I was so into technic that I was like looking for other sets that had a lot of Technic elements in them that I could use for my Technic builds, not realizing how fun they were to build just by themselves. So Ninjago sets have a lot of Technic stuff built into the, the chassis and the, the frames and framework of, of all their builds. So I started to get into a lot of Ninjago because it had a bunch of cool Technic parts. And, um, once I started building some Ninjago sets, I was like, oh, these are cool. So I started buying racers and um, city sets and, you know, it just snowballed from there. I started buying every, almost every theme that has come out. So how did that, uh, how did that go from trains to, oh, I was going to say that um, unfortunately the train sets were something that I never really got into in that, that snowball effect. Like it, it never kind of went down that path until, um, I don't know, it was late last year when I bought the first current. Well, actually, I had the Constitution train first. Um, I, I actually bought that one because I was buying all of the um, Lone Ranger sets because I like that Western theme. That's the one theme I wish LEGO would come out with, an unlicensed Western theme. Anyway, this video is digressing so much, um, but... Um, so I have the Constitution, and I bought two of them because they were like 50% off or something. So I have one unopened still. I'll probably just open it just to part it out. Um, and then I got the cargo train late last year, and it was the first motorized train. And uh, the kids played with that for a long time. I actually still have it built, but the, 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 the track has been, you know, disassembled and put, put up in storage bins. So... You know, it comes with a limited amount of, basically you make a little oval. So my, my thought on what I want to do is a little bit more than just an oval, so. Wow, if you made it to the end of this video, cheers. Um, drinks are on me if I see you in uh, Philly Brickfest. Mention this long haul video and uh, I'll buy you around. So that's it for this one, thanks for watching. Um, you're gonna see some of these uh, sets, definitely the Lego City sets. The fireboat, the uh, deep sea uh, rescue helicopter thing. Um, you'll see those built on the Hidden Brick channel. Maybe you'll even see one of these things put on. Nah, probably not. I don't. I don't do guitar stuff on this channel. Actually, I don't do guitar stuff on any channel. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to share with your friends. Check out the Hidden Brick channel if you like to see build videos. Um, let's see what day is today, December. <laughs> December. Uh, the, as I'm recording this, it's actually February 19th. So um, we're coming up pretty close to a Lego City update. I guess I should take it out of my boxes, get it, start getting it ready for um, Philly. It's coming up quicker than I than I really expected it to. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.